we're doing. Uh, today I will be. I'm currently working on a test of the alcohol ink, and we're doing it on these light switch holders. Very classic safety standard project. If you want to have a fancy house, this is the best way to do it. Stamping continuously with color. Now, I, I recommend a color palette with purples and blues because they, something like that, because they go, these kinds of colors go well together. They do. You I, know that that's my favorite color combination too. Yes. Like currently my project is going really well. Is can you close up here? Okay. That's what I've gotten done so far. Okay. So how are you putting the alcohol ink on there? What are you using? Uh We're using a stamp from Ranger <laughs> Brand. You're using we're using alcohol ink applier felt and okay. on a stamp. Okay, and so show me how you do it. Are you going to add more color or is that good? Well, for let me just do an example of how you would do this. You, okay. We're going to use this shade of blue for alcohol ink. You open your container very cautiously and add one drop like that. The more ink you apply, the the um, more strength it's going to have, and it'll show up more. And you can create some pretty cool color combinations with this. Okay, so you put the ink on the felt, and then what do you do? After that, you take whatever you're using and just stamp it. Apply some pressure and push on it. If you want to get it on certain spots on this substance, you probably want to do some careful pushing, push ons like this. And is apply and apply as much force when you're trying to get in small areas and you create this really cool texture that kind of has the scaly like a scale scales I guess it really has that neat kind of texture to it okay why don't you show it off this is my final project all right what do you say Thanks everyone for watching! Hello! Hi, uh, just, just. This is part two of how to do this well, alcohol link strategy. This one, you just make, added your draw and then blow it around using a straw. If you put your mouth to this point and blow it through there, you can have more control over where it goes. And then let's add some of this color. We'll put it here. Let's try this from here. Um, let's try this color next.
<laughs> Perfect. You can create some really good patterns using this strategy. Like, as I just added it onto the same one I'd used before, and it really covered it up, kind of looking a lot different than the way before. Anyways, thank you.